I want to thank all of you who have gathered today to honor Brian, to support his family, all in this church, and the many, many thousand members of the law enforcement community who have gathered outside, all of us today in solidarity with the Moore family, a family that has done so much for all of us. I want to acknowledge and thank the leadership of the NYPD, Commissioner Bratton, First Deputy Commissioner Tucker, Chief of Department O'Neill. I want to thank Monsignor Romano and all the clergy who are present, all the family, the friends, the neighbors of Officer Moore who have come for this day. I want to acknowledge and thank our brothers and sisters in labor, all the elected officials, all the community leaders here. We're all gathered in one purpose, to mourn the loss of a great man, a young man, but a very great man, Officer Brian Moore. And we all are heartbroken, as are the people of our city. Brian Moore dedicated his life to protecting all of us. He gave what President Abraham Lincoln called the last full measure of devotion to that cause. Our hearts today are heavy, and our hearts are with the Moore family, with Brian's father, Raymond, his mother, Irene, his sister, Christine, all of the members of his family, but also all the members of his extended family of the NYPD, and particularly with the men and women of the 105 Precinct, who he served with over these past five years. Brian Moore represented the best of New York City. He was brave, for sure, but his bravery was matched by his compassion. And he came by it through his family. It's in his DNA from a family so devoted to the NYPD, his father and uncle, both retired sergeants. As three cousins, police officers, one in the NYPD, two in police forces in Long Island, Brian looked up to his father in every way and sought to emulate him and did a fine job, and not just in something as important as patrolling the streets and keeping us safe. In other matters as well, Brian took after his father and was a devout Baltimore Orioles fan like him. And Raymond, I want to say I admire your choice to bring up your son, supporting a different team in the American League East, I think it was one of the many reasons your son had the tremendous character that he has. In middle school, Brian already knew, still so early on, he knew the path he wanted to walk. He knew he wanted to carry on the noble tradition and become a member of the NYPD. He didn't wait a moment. At the age of 17, he had already taken the NYPD entrance exam. He just couldn't wait to be old enough to join the force. And when he got there, when he finally became an officer, he didn't do it halfway. He devoted his whole being to the job. He cared so deeply. He worked so hard. The stories I've heard and we've all heard in these last days. A young man who cared so deeply to do the job right. He learned quickly. He was constantly asking questions. It became clear to many he was a rising star. In a few short years, he had made it to the elite anti-crime unit. He was respected by his elders, and he was looked up to by junior officers. And regardless of seniority, all saw him as a friend. Even at the age of 25, Others flocked to him, seeking advice and guidance. He was a consummate professional, 
but at the same time, he had a tremendous ability to enjoy life. He never took himself too seriously. He always found the joy in what he did and in the deep bonds he felt with others. His enthusiasm and his smile were infectious. You see the photos. It's obvious that those around him felt joy in his presence. People wanted to work with him. If Brian was doing something, they wanted to be a part of it. He was always ready with a joke. He was always ready for a friendly competition and ready to one-up his friends and fellow officers. Off-duty as well, he lived life to the fullest. He loved many, many things and many people. He loved everything about the life that he had created. He was devoted to his German Shepherd Smokey. He loved his copper black Acura. And he excelled at making his own homemade videos filmed while singing to the radio, his own version of karaoke, acting out songs and then sharing them with his friends. All those things mattered so much to him, his work, the things he loved to do, but nothing mattered more than his family. Clearly above all in his life, he cherished family the most. He loved to spend time with his father. He went to baseball games, he went bowling. He also made sure that every Monday, his day off, was a time he devoted to his mother. That was a time he kept sacred to make sure he had that time with her. And wherever he was, whatever he was doing, he talked about the job and what it meant to him. He was excited about it. He knew that he was making the city safer. He knew he was making a difference in people's lives and it energized him. Some weeks ago, Brian had to take a few weeks off. He had a brief medical leave. But because it was Brian, he kept counting the minutes until he could be back on the job. And his second day back, he made a gun collar. And that made him so proud that he had taken a gun off the streets and kept others safe. This was just days before we lost Brian. Last Saturday, Brian showed the courage and the dedication he had always shown, and he made the ultimate sacrifice while keeping our city safe. The opening lines of the prayer of St. Francis beautifully speak to Brian Moore's life. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Officer Moore dedicated his entire life to being an instrument of peace and sowing love. Now, it's up to us, to all of us, to nurture the seeds that he planted to help the city he loves so much grow stronger and safer for all. That's what he would want, and that's what we will do in his memory. May God bless Officer Moore and all who loved him.